First Peter chapter 4. King James says, But the end of all things is at hand. Be therefore sober and watch unto prayer. New King James. This New King James. But the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. So I love the New King James. Test might be serious. And be watchful unto prayer. Amen. The Bible is trying to tell us that we are in the end time. Tell somebody we are in the end time. Everything that is happening is telling us that we are, we are, we are not nearing the end time. We are within the end time. So the end has come. We are in the end time. And the Bible said we should be serious. Serious. The word sober is not quietness. You know, it says somebody is sober, somebody is relaxed. No, no, no. The new kingdom said it means serious and watch unto prayer. The, 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 the meaning of the word unto prayer means that sit down, analyze what is happening, and navigate yourself through the situation and commit it into prayer. I get what I'm saying. And when you are praying, add seriousness into the prayer. In fact, we must take life seriously. Life is not an entertainment. Hello? Life is not a dress rehearsal. Life is not Valentine. Valentine, Life is not Christmas. Those of you that are chasing people, Christmas gift, Valentine gift, holiday gift, Saturday gift, Sunday gift, such a Life is a serious business. And to those who succeed are serious people. Go and ask those rich people and tell you how many hours did they sleep. Everything is coming to an end. So be serious in your behavior and keep on the watch with prayer. Be serious. Be serious. You can't be chasing girls while you are in school because what? You are not paying your fees because of girls and boys. No. No. Your parents are sweating to pay your school fees and you didn't discard no. The just school fees you are. You are, admit, you, are, you are not admitted into a certain guy's room. You are admitted into the classroom. Not complicating. So every semester, you are chasing girls. You are chasing boys. Your end has come. Be serious. T- tell somebody to be serious. Yeah, be serious. Do you know that serious people don't gossip about people? Serious people don't have time to discuss people. The end has come. Because good people are dying. Unfortunately, the bad ones are there. You can't joke with your life. Am I communicating? Be serious with your life and commit the seriousness into prayer. When you're talking about seriousness into prayer, you're talking about praying whilst your phone is not with you. You're not serious. You're not serious. From Monday to Sunday, you didn't even find one time to go and talk to somebody about Jesus and to bring that person to Jesus and to church. You're not serious. You're not serious. You don't pay tithes. Any instruction God gives us is for our own good. Pray, no. Fast, no. So we need no. Live pure, no. Don't gossip, no. So you don't want to do what God wants you to do. But you want God, you want God to do for you what you want him to do. God is not God for your interests. You are a man for God's interests. I'm not communicating. Go and read Genesis chapter 1. The reason why God created man. God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Then he gave me instruction to take care of the things I have created. Your reason why you are alive is to do God's instruction. Not, God for, not, not for God to do your instruction. For information, you are here for God to use you, not for you to use God. Be serious with your academics. Hello? If you are married, be serious with your marriage. Are you following? Be serious with your work. You are serious. Eh? God in his mercy commands every element in the world to also respond to your seriousness. I get what I'm saying? If you are not serious, every element in the world will also respond to your non-seriousness. Don't joke with your life. So be serious and watch 